Christians are experiencing a strategic division that's threatening the unity within the faith. Says Jesus Christ 24. Yes. Is he on the ballot? He's not on the ballot, but Trump is so doggone close. What do you mean by that? I'm to the place right now, if you vote Democrat, I don't even want you around this church. You can get out. You can get out, you demon. You can get out, you baby butchering election thief. You cannot be a Christian and vote Democrat in this nation. <laughs> there is no option for the Democratic Party but Kamala Harris. Come on, y'all. You ain't going to jump over a sister and act like, come on, y'all ain't saying nothing. Black women have been saving the Democratic Party for 20 years. What? Because who is more disqualified than Donald Trump? And Republicans are all in because he is the avatar for their grievance. How qualified does a black person have to be? Graduated at the top of her class at Howard, went to law school, was attorney general of a state, a United States senator, a vice president of the United States, but she's not qualified? Now, this division is often stemming from, you know, the difference of interpretation of the Bible, you know, cultural influences, you know, social media issues, political, you know, division and all that stuff. You know, you know, there is a lot of divisive things that's divide that's dividing, you know, us, well, Christians in the faith, you know, and it's creating a riff amongst believers. As various factions emerges, many are tempted to be focused on their differences rather than the tenets of our faith that is unity, you know, in, in, in the body of Christ coming together. This this unity is, you know, weakened in the church, if you ask me, you know, it's weakened in the collective voices and its ability to fulfill its mission of spreading the gospel as a whole here in America and around the world. There is just so much divisive, you know, rhetoric that's, you know, that's out there. Now, some of it is warranted. Some of it is, you know, is not warranted. The Lord did say he come to bring a sword. He didn't come to bring, you know, he came to bring division. I understand it, but, you know, there is a lot of stuff that's happening amongst Christians, and they just taking that scripture way out of proportion, in my honest opinion. I'm witnessing Christians demonize one another, you know, for their support for Trump, while others criticize, you know, fellow believers for backing Kamala Harris. And I, like I said, I get it. I'm just not in it. I'm out of it. But in my honest opinion, supporting either candidate in today's landscape may align you with the characteristics of the Antichrist. Hear me out. Hear me out. The entire American political system in many ways embodies the print, um, and principles that can be interpreted as antithetical to the truth and the teachings of Christ. What's going on in the world and all these situations seems to reflect in fulfillment, you know, of biblical prophecies, you know, of the coming Antichrist. We are witnessing a great divide within the body of in the body of Christ. We are witnessing a great co corruption in the body of Christ. We are with, and even in the world, politically, the, 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 the Christians are align, aligning with these political leaders. It's just so much stuff happening amongst Christians. And then people, even the world is watching like, well, who do I, who should we rock with? You know, the, we, we should we rock with those over there in the Democratic Party? Should we rock with those over here in the Republican Party? Those over here in the Republican Party don't believe this and they stand up for abortion and all that stuff. Those over here in the Democrat, Democratic Party, they, sh they stand up for all the social stuff and all that stuff, you know, good and evil and and it, you know in some in some in, in a lot of areas and a lot you know in a lot of good areas and a lot of bad areas but check this out the we got to remember the signs of the times and Jesus told us to watch out for you know we have to be careful in what we give our allegiance to I want Bible the Lord Jesus Christ said this himself in uh Matthew chapter 24 verses 6 and 8 
and you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not alarmed, for this must take place, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines and earth earthquakes in various places. All these are but the beginning of birth pains. But watch this. Watch this. Look at what the Lord said in verse 10 and 11. And then many will fall away and betraying one another and hating one another. And many false prophets will arise and lead many astray. And because lawlessness will be increased, the love of many will grow cold. We are witnessing this prophecy unfold right before our very eyes you know, amongst, you know, Christians in the world today. And if you, 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 you gotta be blind if you ain't paying attention. Well, if you, a lot of y'all don't read the Bible no more anyway. Ain't that right? He ain't lying. So no, no wonder y'all just, y'all too caught up in this worldly stuff. Y'all too caught up in what your favorite politician is doing that y'all not even looking at what the scriptures is actually saying, what Jesus is actually saying, but y'all call yourself Christians though. You know, you know, as believers, choose sides based upon who they align with politically and the candidate or the parties they align with. The various foundations of the unity of and love within our faith is crumbling under the weight of this division and animosity that's happening amongst Christians. A lot of you have lost sight of spreading the gospel. Now you're mixing your, your faith in with worldly stuff and I get it to a certain extent, but now it's just coming, it's just becoming too overbearing and now you're pushing more of your political affiliation and all your outside influences on your congregants in the church and on some of y'all on y'all social media platforms y'all doing that as well verse 11 we just saw what verse 11 verse 11 just said and many false prophets will arise and lead people astray that's what y'all doing by mixing the gospel in all this worldly political ideologies uh donald trump is coming to save america he's back in christian he called himself a christian kamala harris is hey, listen they, y y listen y if you a believer in christ you better stay keep your focus stayed on the lord because Ain't none of them bearing a the fruit to the spirit. Hey, listen, if y'all allow this stuff to continue within y'all congregation and y'all church and all that, you know, y'all might find yourself on the wrong side. Y'all might find yourself in the dark, dark path still while going to church, while in the faith. <laughs> well, supposedly in the faith. You're not in the faith if you're going over to the dark side. You're going to find yourself like a lot of them when we read the scriptures of the Pharisees, Sadducees, and the scribes. They did all the cutesy things. They still went to church. They still did, but they were still wilding in the world. They still was a friend of Caesar's, which consequently led to them being a part of Christ being crucified. Yeah, you know I mean, even though we know he laid down his life, but it was at the, the hands of his so-called brothers. These are the signs of the times. The time has come for us to rise, you know, rise above these divisions and rekindle our faith in the Lord and stand in unity in the body of Christ. Lest we succumb to the very chaos we seek to oppose. Because a lot of y'all starting to look like more like the world than Christ Jesus. I'm done, y'all. Amen. Amen. Won't y'all do something for the podcast today? Go to our merch store. We got this dope vintage Saint hoodie right now, tie-dye blue, and we got it in tie-dye pink. Go to gasmerch.com. It's going to be down in the description area where you can just click on it and go straight to the merch store, man. I appreciate y'all, and I'll holla at y'all on a flip. Peace. Considered the greatest spitting. I tell them I'm Christ like they envision modern Christian. I tell them I'm the light, check conditions that I'm living. I preach Christ, we ain't fake delivering. Listen, candy man, as soon as they know. It's not about how much Bible chapter and verse you know, it's about how much Bible you willing to obey.